there has been a 134% increase in the number of research papers being published in artificial intelligence and machine learning in drug discovery and biology in the last 12 months. And you can imagine the quantum of research which is going in. But before we jump on to this bandwagon and say that, oh, there is huge scope and huge future in AI ML, I want to warn you about a small problem here. Now, if you do research on anything in an academic setup, then always the research will not be commercializable. Most of the time it is not commercializable. But when you do research in an industrial setup, keeping commercialization in mind, then the direction of research will be completely different. Now this I'm telling you from my personal experience. Many a times uh, people who do research on any topic in a university will be doing research on any topic. But when it comes to a company, because the resources are less, they will always do something which is closely related to their work, their product or their services. So right now, four to five sections or uh, areas, focus areas where industry is doing research is number one, understanding the diseases. So what are we doing here? We are trying to identify new drug for the disease by understanding it better and then trying to find if this drug will fit in. Then we are also looking at validation of the drug targets under this. Companies are also working on vaccine designs. You already know the grand story of mRNA vaccine created by Moderna. So discovering new vaccines, optimization of the existing vaccines, and then of course, more focus on mRNA vaccine. This is where industry is focused. Then industry is also focused on antibody design. So identifying the antibody, optimizing the antibody, um, their structures and binding affinity and everything, that is where the industry is more focused towards when it comes to drug discovery. Now coming to the drug molecule. So we are more focused on the molecule optimization instead of looking for a new discovery altogether. It is always better to further optimize existing mo molecules and get a drug repurposing effect. So industry is focusing on identifying hit-like and lead-like compounds. Industry is focused on identifying and optimizing compounds for uh, favorable properties, right? And then the industry is also using AI ML in toxicity studies and safety studies. So these are the five to six um, areas in which the drug discovery companies are working using AI ML tools. Now, my question to you is, if you are doing research on something which is not related uh, among these, then probably we are uh, going in the wrong direction. And that is why Biotechnica not just trains you. We have industry focused, industry oriented real projects from real companies which who outsource those projects to us. So you can take training with us and then and work with us and publish papers as a first author along with our scientists and get great results. So like I told you in the beginning of this video, the AIML trains are great, but this is the warning. You have to keep in mind the industry focused research, not just any research in AIML. Now coming to the second aspect, you should know that the funding is also flowing towards this. A lot of venture capitalists and governments as well as private uh, company owners are focusing on AIML tools and research and whatever how AIML can revolutionize their existing research. So a lot of funding is going in there. So that means the future is bright. The next thing which we are seeing is a 134% increase in the AI in biology research papers. We are also seeing most papers being published in high impact factor journals. So if you do not publish now, uh, the chances of getting low impact factor journal later will be there Right now, you can get acceptance in high impact factor journals also. We have seen a 17% increase in number of drug discovery related patents in AI, ML and biology. So that's a great boost. And 80% of these approvals which we are seeing or the patents which we are seeing is in f these three or four focus key areas which I already spoke about earlier. Right now, so the key focus area like I have told you will be understanding the diseases target discovery and then molecular optimization. That is the three areas where uh, industries are focused right now. And the future potential, we, if we come to that, uh, we are right now at the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more we can do with AIML tool and that is why you should explore right now. Later on, the field will be saturated. You will not be able to get in and you will keep regretting just like how it happened in the wet lab scenario in India. Uh, novel approaches are coming right away and that is where I'm uh, urging all of you. Biotechnica is starting a new AI ML in biology and drug discovery in bioinformatics and computational biology um, internship and training. The details are given in the description. Go ahead, enroll yourself. 
or if you want to reach out to us there is a whatsapp uh, link also given you can um, you know inquire with our team and talk to our scientists and understand how your research uh, aspirations aligns with our research goals and if that works then why not join us and work with us and do this project you will get the work experience letter recommendation letter and also the placement assistance as well so we are looking at a comprehensive industry oriented industry focused uh, aiml um uh, training as well as internship and project and uh, the date is 26th of august very less seats are left so go ahead enroll yourself link in the description and i will see you soon as a aiml in biology scientist by 2047 when you would have established yourself as a top reputed scientist and then let's build a better disease free environment where we use aiml tools to achieve great success in biology thank you so much for watching T uh, till then take care keep shining Bye-bye.